there's somebody looking for advice on mini painting, which is pretty <laughs> perennial. Mm -hmm. uh, the one piece of advice I have is that to remember that you can always go back and correct a mistake that you make, but your best way to do that is to finish whatever it is, the part of the mini you're painting now. You know, if you're painting the armor and you slip and hit the face or something like that, finish painting the armor, then go back and correct any mistakes, um, rather than like trying to stop where, what you're doing, fix it, and then going back. Finish, finish each part, then clean up your mistakes. And occasionally you have to go back and forth, but that's my advice. Uh, basic advice, many thin coats. Um, Always good. Uh, uh, <laughs> paint should be, should have the consistency of milk. I, my, my broader advice is the best way to learn how to paint minis is by painting minis. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't do it, if you don't do the work, the work don't get done, unfortunately. Yep. It, it sucks, but no one else can paint your minis. Well, many people can paint your minis for you. Nobody else can paint your minis for you, you by you, except <laughs> you. Um, what else? Uh, d dry brushing is a fun trick. Yeah. Try branching out from it, and you might like the results. Yeah. Throw them in the dirt. Get them dirty. Scuff them up. Let's go. Make those mini figs look like they've lived. Honestly, that's not the worst advice. I know it's not. Yeah. Hmm. That's how I do all art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I have never once thinned my paints. I have painted everything straight from the pot. All the time. Bold. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I just haven't tried it. <laughs> 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 I just thought that. I was like, oh, good. They gave me paint. This must be how it's done. Bloop. 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 That's how I did all my orcs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just painted everything straight from the pot. And people said my orcs look nice, so... Yeah. But I don't know what you want from me. Mm -hmm. hmm. Some people said they look very professional, but that's only because we have good camera people, I think. Yep. <laughs> did you did you use a palette for it, or just like straight from the pot? A lot of times straight from the pot. The, yeah, only, okay. the only thing I use a palette for are my contrast paints. Right, yeah. Yep. And then I do a sepia wash, and I did a sepia wash at the end. I've, I've I've done multiple washes. Do you have to varnish a mini fig when you're done? Kind of uh, tie it all thing together. You can do. Usually, a, a satin a satin coat is good ah. because they are playing pieces. You're picking them up. You're moving right. them around. You're transporting them. Uh, it. I recommend you clear coat your right, your right, figures. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because uh, you know, if you've ever seen a brass doorknob, uh, human skin oil. We'll do a number on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I'm still learning, so. <laughs> I heard you were the orc master. Everybody's like, yo, these orcs kill all other orcs. Nobody else can orc like you orc. Uh, my orc. Oh, no, I'm, I'm terrible at kill team with my orcs. I haven't won a match yet. I don't care. Fair. I just wanted as many orcs on the field as possible, and I just get wiped out and... And then I talk in a silly voice. All of my orcs are named Stev. That's a good life lesson. Sometimes it's worth it just mm -hmm. to have the most orcs. Yeah. You might not win. <laughs> no. But you got the most orcs. I, mm. I, I had the I had a lot of fun and that's all I care about. Correct. Yeah. That is all that matters. I I don't care what other how other people think I should play a game. Mm -hmm. Typically. Unless, you know, it depends on if it's a collaborative game or not. Yeah. Sure, but yeah. Sure, sure.